Let us try and prepare a profit and loss account with this following trial balance. Trial balance as on a particular date of one Mr. Ramesh. Now what do we have? Capital account is a balance sheet item. Purchases is a trading item. Sales is a trading item. Return inward and outward. Return inward is sales return. Return outward is purchase return. Purchase return would be deducted from purchases. Sales return would be deducted from sales returns. Salaries will go to the profit and loss account. Debtors, of course, is an asset. Creditors is a liability. They go to balance sheet. Carriage inward should go to the trading account. Outward to the profit and loss account. Interest income, profit and loss. Opening stock, trading account. Direct expenses, trading account. Telephone, profit and loss. Electricity, profit and loss. Investment is an asset. We'll go to balance sheet. So, we'll building cash in hand and cash at bank. There was no closing stock. So, we have already identified what are the items which will go to trading account, what are the items which will go to profit and loss account. Let us see how this would be prepared. So, let us make a trading and profit and loss account for the year ended what if. To, we'll start with opening stock since it is there 50,000 to opening stock I'm writing in short here otherwise there won't be space to opening stock 50,000 so I've taken this two purchases is 2 lakh less returns minus returns purchases what is the return Return outward that is five thousand. So less five thousand. We get one lakh ninety five thousand by sales. You have four lakh less returns ten thousand. That is three lakh ninety thousand. So we have taken purchases, we have taken sales, we have taken return inward, we have taken return outward. Next, we'll take carriage inward. To carriage inward is five thousand. Carriage outward, interest income opening. There are other direct expenses, which is twenty thousand. Telephone, electricity, investments, building. So that's it. That covers everything in the trading account. So what is it that we get? We get a total here of three lakh ninety thousand. So the gross profit carried down is. One lakh twenty thousand. By gross profit brought down, we have one lakh twenty thousand. It's carried forward. We are making the trading and profit and loss account together. What do we have now? Profit and loss to so salaries. So salaries. 60,000. Debtors, creditors, carriage inward is done. Carriage outward is 10,000. Carriage outward, 10,000. 
interest income income so interest income 5000 opening stock direct expenses telephone electricity telephone and electricity how much is the telephone was 6000 and electricity was 9000 so we should have covered everything we taken purchases sales everything in the t is taken Everything in the P is taken. T is trading, purchase, sorry, carriage outward, profit and loss 5,000. Trading taken, profit and loss telephone and this. So we are done. This should give us now. The net profit transferred to capital account forty thousand <clears throat> forty thousand this is how the trading and profit and loss account could be would be prepared let us take a look at a fair presentation of the same thing Books of Ramesh, trading account for the year ended, opening stock 50,000, purchases less return is 95,000, carriage inward. What is carriage inward? The cost of carriage of bringing goods in. And what is carriage outward? The cost of taking the goods out, that is selling cost. So carriage outward is actually a selling and distribution cost, whereas carriage inward is a part of the purchase cost or the direct cost. <coughs> Uh, we had direct expenses, sales less return 390. So that we got a gross profit, which is a balancing figure, transferred to profit and loss account. This is the profit and loss account. By gross profit brought down, interest earned, salaries, electricity, telephone charges, carriage outward. Carriage outward, I repeat, what is carriage outward? The, the carriage in sending the goods out while selling the goods the carriage costs which are incurred that is carriage outward so carriage inward and carriage outward are both expenses but carriage inward relates to purchases and therefore is shown in the trading account carriage outward relates to sales for sending the the, the carriage costs for sending the goods out selling the goods and therefore that is a profit and loss account item the balancing figure here is net profit 40000 transferred to capital account in total, completely, this is how it would look. Books, trading and profit and loss account. A much neater presentation here. Opening stock, purchase less return, carriage inward, direct expenses, sales less returns. It's a gross profit being brought down here. One like 20,000. Interest earned was another income. Other expenses, what are these? Are all the operating expenses. 40,000 is the profit taken to capital account. So this is how trading and profit and loss account or this is what is called the income statement is prepared to ascertain the gross profit and the net profit. Net profit is ultimately transferred to the capital account. Net profit is added to the capital. The capital of the, the owners, the capital of the owner will increase. The money belonging to the owner, the net worth of the business will increase. When there is a profit, it will reduce if there is a loss.